So a very good afternoon and welcome back to Sarah and Lee. It is a very, very sunny and beautiful Friday afternoon now um, and Sarah and I are off on another adventure. So if you saw our last adventure you'll see that we were in a shepherd's hut in ross on -Wye. and this weekend for the bank holiday we've rented a boat on the Norfolk Broads. So we got up very very early this morning. Um, I always loathe getting up early on a day that I've got off work but we were out of bed at five o'clock this morning to make our way to Norfolk and uh, here we are. So we've just got to the, well we're just outside of Potter Hyman and we are going to pick up a boat very very shortly and take it out for a few nights. So let's go, come with us. So here we are, we've picked up our boat and um, very nice in the boatyard. We had uh, a very very thorough induction and uh, a couple of minutes up the river with Jeff who uh, showed us what it was all about. Um, and we've been underway now for uh, about an hour or so. Um, first challenge was Potter Hyman Bridge. So if you're familiar with the broad, you'll know how low that bridge is. Um, the good thing is the boatyard let you go off and then you uh, come alongside just before the bridge and they take you through. And boy, am I glad they did because that bridge is low. This is a, this is a pretty small boat and I'm not kidding, there were inches to spare. So um, I can put that footage in actually. Yeah, we'll pop that in so you can see really, I mean, it is proper low. Um, not something for me to try. Yeah, we've been steaming away quite happily. Um, we're hoping to make it to Stracy Mill, um, but as we boat, you just go with the flow and see what happens. So um, the weather's great, it's all quiet, we're pottering along, um, and very, very happy with the boat. We'll, um, we'll give you a tour later on this evening, I think, when uh, Sarah's happy with the way it's looking. But um, yeah, other than that, we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. So here we are at our first mooring. I think we've been motoring for two or three hours. So we're at uh, Stracy Mill now, um, which is somewhere we've stayed before. And um, this is a six pound a night mooring, but uh, it's absolutely lovely. And it looks like we're gonna be the only boat here, unless someone else turns up. So uh, yeah, we're gonna take a quick wonder, put the boat ready for the night, and then um, get some dinner, I think. So welcome aboard Tumble Home. We are here for the night. 
all moored up, get the terminology right. I was uh, about to say pitched up, but uh, moored up is the nautical term, I think, and it's a beautiful evening. Um, you might be able to hear the frying pan that's going mental in the kitchen. So uh, let's see what the chef's cooking in the galley, shall we? What's cooking, chef? Um, I'm burning some burgers because it's a non-stick pan. Non-non-stick pan? Yeah, so I'm proper burning the burgers. We've got some rolls, some salads, some olives, some potato salad, some coleslaw. And I think we're just going to chillax for the evening. I think we'll show you a boat tour at some point in this video. Not sure when that will be. I need to tie you up again. But loving it. Messy chef. Messy chef. Okay, we'll show you around the boat. Um, so this is it, this is Tumble Home. As you see, the uh, windscreens are back on and the canopy is up, it was getting a bit chilly. Um, so we're just getting it ready for the evening. You see there, she's all moored up. Have to keep our lines a little bit slack here to allow for the tide to come up and down. So she was built in the 50s, 1952 I think, so she's uh, 71 years old. So you can see in the canopy there you've got the helm. So this is the back of Tumble Home. You can see there a name lovely written on the back. And Sarah enjoying the cockpit area. Sun's just going down so uh, all the boats will have to stop moving very soon. So I reckon we'll take you aboard, but I'll put the camera down, otherwise the camera will be in the water. So welcome aboard. We are on board Tumble Home now. I've uh, managed to safely climb aboard and because um, the canopy is up, the entrance way is on the stern, the rear of the boat. So you can see there, it can be a bit tricky just climbing out. Interesting getting the dogs in and out when it's like that, but uh, we manage it all right. So this is the steering position, so self-explanatory, just a simple steering wheel and throttle, uh, forward and reverse, and that's, that's about as difficult as it gets. Um, lovely area to sit out in, the canopy's actually made it a lot warmer, so we'll probably sit out here with a drink in a minute. So we'll go and have a look inside, we'll show you the accommodation area and all the cabins on board Tumble Home. So this is the whole of Tumble Home. So as you can see, this is a little dinette here. This also makes up into, I'm presuming a double bed. I guess me and Lee are quite large, so it could be quite snug. So on this side here, you have the sink, loads and loads of cupboard space. Um, I reckon it's got more than Sophia. So here you have the hob. You've got a two burner hob. Then you've got a little grill and a little oven, a really lovely sized fridge. Um, it's really, really spacious. Not much more to say. There's a TV, we probably won't watch it. Um, and it's just very original. You've got some beautiful lighting. These lovely wood beams are just absolutely beautiful. What's through this magical door? So this is the bathroom. I don't think me and Lee can both come in at the same time. It's actually really big. It's bigger than Sophia's bathroom. Do you want to go in on your own and have a little look around? Probably makes more sense. Yeah, they do call it a heads on a boat though. A what? The heads. Welcome to the heads. So this is the bathroom, or the heads, as I think they call it on the uh, waterways. Um, so yeah, let me show you around. This contraption is called the toilet. So it uh, pumps out, um, tank on board, but I don't get the job of emptying that, thank goodness. That's the sink, fairly standard. And on the side is the shower control. And the shower is just here underneath the sink and it's trigger controlled. So it's not very glamorous. And then the shower pan is just that hole in the floor. So showering will be interesting.
so that concludes the boat tour i think we're going to sit out here with a nice gnt legal for a rum and try and fit into the world's tiniest bed we will pick up with you guys in the morning